Hello again, it's part two of Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio and we're hoping the camera doesn't shut down and it would be really nice if we could finish this and I don't think I'll need 17 minutes so the timer's set for 16 and I'm just going to continue on where I left off and maybe that'll actually give us a little more time to to figure out or reconfigure so that things work out better. And I'm loving how the colors are mixing. Usually orange and uh, purple would make a nice brown color, but uh, the less you agitate the paint, the more you agitate the paint, the more likely, likely you are to get cells. The less you agitate it, the less likely you are to get brown. So this is not, the, we're not looking for perfection. We're being, we're making, we're creating. <laughs> and uh, an impressionist sunflower and I don't expect it to take too much longer, but I didn't get to finish in part one, so don't expect it to be as quick as part one was. Simple enough. And I think I could probably add some more yellow to my petals, but I also think I kind of like them the way they are. I'd like to take my skewer and roll some of the extra colors I have down over the side. Really, you know what I want to do? I want to find my tubing but maybe I'll just blow on it anyway. I don't see it. It must be somewhere. I don't see it. Yep. I think so. Straw might help. Let's steal some paint. Is there any paint to steal? That's the question. I think a few highlights aren't going to hurt my feelings. I'm going to wipe off my skewer so that when I stick it in there it's not a problem. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for stuff that looks like it's um, canvas. I'm going to go back to my center while I can before it gets so gloppy I can't do anything to it. Any, any paint, residual paint, that might happen to be on my little spatula at this point is just going to be adding some interest in the color variation. Any texture that I get in my center is also perfect because that will be an awful lot like Sunflower seeds. Now, this was interesting. If I can find, where is it? It's here somewhere. I know it is. Well, that's not the one I want. I want a basting brush, and I put it where I could find it, and guess where it is? I don't know. It's in the bucket. I know there's a smaller one, but I don't see it, and uh, I'm going to dry the water off this one, and then I'm going to just hope that paint that's supposed to heal itself will heal itself in spite of the fact that it's a lot gloppy right now from the heat drying it. So I'm sort of cross hatching back and forth so it looks like we're catching the light and I'm adding a little curve because sunflower centers are often curved and I think I'm not unhappy with that at all so I'm just going to pull a little bit of this paint that I saw leaving canvas and I'm going to look and see what I've got down below if there's anything else I want to do and I'm thinking that I can see that line of demarcation where things are dark under there and that might have to be as I was saying earlier something that I do so there might be part three but I'd really like to just put some color there on everything and pull it down and see if I can camouflage it now yellow is pretty see-through but I see that line, and if I pull it down, and I have the time to do it, I might as well try and see what happens, because we're here. Not only that, since we're here, let's just change it up a little, because all that's going to pull down. I'm going to start by trying to put my... Uh, skewer in there as opposed to anything else. This was kind of unexpected. And I have to be quicker than I want to be because... What do I have up here? I have a number three. And I'm going to put my rag right in my hand because I think I'm going to need it. I'm 
And the next time I get paint, instead of wiping it off, I'm going to put it over there. I really want to see what it looks like to spread that out. But I don't want to mix so much more green in with things that I'm unhappy with it. Ooh, very green. Wow. Very, very nasty rag. Alright, I'm going to try something different since I shouldn't have forgotten my rag and I should have gone and gotten it. Okay, time for Jane. <laughs> There we go. I'll try the, uh, try my scrubby. I guess impressionist means learning to love what you get. The same thing as uh, fluid art sometimes. Learning to love what you get and appreciate the experiment. I kind of want something right in there. It's going to let my chain relax a little bit. Maybe I'm even going to let my skewer create the impression of a flower behind. my paints in my way. If I get some extra, I'll let it relax off the chain up at the top. It's a very surreal flower, but it's okay with me. Because I'm liking it. I still don't know if we're going to get away with not seeing that line of demarcation, but it seems to have disappeared for now. Maybe it just needed to have a little bit heavier paint. I am still going to try and torch to release the bubbles in the paint, but I'm thinking it's, you know, it's pretty far along in this game to to expect it to work perfectly. But a lot of the things are spatulated or manipulated thoroughly so that um, any air bubbles in there had a good chance of being squished out of the picture. I'm going to let that chain just relax down over. I want to do what I just did and, and pull some of the centers down, but I'm afraid that I'll square off my petals. Still, I think we get pretty much the desired effect. I think. I'm going to pick up some of that paint on my tile and let it pretend to be another petal. Just keep filling in. I'm adding new pretend petals because they're multi, multi petal flowers usually, not just one. And the more texture we get, the more definition or, or depth we create. Kind of like that, but I think there's a lot of green up there already, which makes me just want to add a little more yellow again. And then all I'm going to want to do is check after I torch for, uh, maybe before I torch, a <laughs> better idea, um, for any canvas. I'd like to just go through and stick my finger in, but I don't think that that's the answer. I do think that I like how it looks when I pull that purple down and around the edges and sort of mix the colors up a little bit. Once around won't hurt anything, right? I might want to be wiping my chain off, probably. I got sidetracked by wanting to pull the purple down. I kind of wish I'd saved that yellow. There we go. Hmm. 
Not bad. So far, so good. And I could probably refine this a little bit if I wanted to, since I've got plenty of time. It's kind of a slow, painstaking process. It's not quick. Let's see what I can see that I want to change anything. Careful slippery paint. Almost dropped my skewer. And it's getting a little gloppy, so it's really time to call it good. I'm sure if I had a little tub of, uh, let's just put some of that right on there, on the edge of that spatula, and tip off some flowers, and push the little points down over the edges to, to make the design over the edge cohesive, as opposed to uh, disturbing too much of the paint or stealing it from above because it's at that gloppy stage. But if it's thick, you can still do some of it. All right, so I'm getting pretty close to calling it good. And uh, I wanna say thank you guys for giving me the thumbs up. It helps the placement of my videos on YouTube and the more people that see me, the more people subscribe. And that might make a difference in some way in the future when YouTube's debacles get more straightened out. So I appreciate your help because making a living here is going to be interesting soon or not happening at all and uh, that reminds me and I've told you before I do sell my artwork I've spent a small fortune on teaching myself how to do this so I could share it with you and have the benefit of what I've learned to hopefully make some people happy by collecting my art so you can collect my art in several ways and uh, Canvas prints are available through uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Uh, I think it's Totes and More will connect you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com where canvas prints are available. I have a missing green spot and I'm so glad I saved my paint because I'm going to use it. And anything else I see like that, I'm going to steal some paint from a tile and blend it right in. I think we're done for the most part. I mean, it's not perfect, but it was never expected to be. Like I said, it's it's both surreal and, and impressionist. So let me find, there it is, my torch. We torch to release the bubbles in the paint. As I see things like that little piece of canvas, as I go along, I will probably continue to add things to cover things or change a mark so it doesn't look so square like that one and then move it back again. But that's, uh, I'm liking that. Although, you know, <laughs> I see that over there and I wanna change it. What else do I see that I wanna change while I'm here, right here? Just pick the ones that look like they need a top. And then see if I can fake my way into fixing it. I don't see why I shouldn't be allowed to use the straight color. There's so many colors going on here. It's just a really delicate touch. It's probably very important to do so, or you're going to drag up more colors that you don't want. Or you'd prefer not to have as much of. How many times have I said I was done now? If you use a skewer, it's good to just rest the skewer in the paint and just barely graze the surface because otherwise you are going to canvas and you will have to find a way to cover that. I love my center. The center is the easiest part of this. So when you get there, just remember back and forth in arcs. A little cross hatching. And we are pretty well good to go. I think anything that I didn't cover on my edges, I'll cover after you're gone. There's only a minute 27 seconds left, but hey, if it's a masterpiece, it needs all the time you can give it, right? And it's not a masterpiece, but it was kind of fun to do. And you got the idea. You got some great little cells popping. I do have GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint, pre-mixed paint and squeeze bottles. And that helps me prevent 
cracking from occurring while the painting's dry. And if you have a problem with that, stop using glue. And I don't advise water, but plenty of people are using it and it's working for them. But if you're getting cracks and it's not working for you, give up the glue. I, excuse me, give up the water. My mistake. Um, I keep saying things I want to fix, as you can easily tell. But uh, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I'm going to read what's on my card to you again. Um, I, I told you I sell my artworks. You can acquire my email is at the top of, um, it's above show more under the video. It's E-A-S-P-B, the word gallery, at gmail.com if you're not be able to read what's under the video. There's a contest on the end screens every single month. There's over 820 videos that you can access through my playlists. And if you need a link to any particular playlist, they're arranged by hundreds and by topics. And all you have to do is ask me, and I will be happy to help you. And if there's anything I see here that I want to fix, like in, I have a little can little canvas showing. Where did I see that? Then I will unabashedly do that. I love you guys. There's almost 80,000 of you. I think I said that. <laughs> You'll forgive me. Uh, if you watch the end screens, the contest will show you what this month's prizes are. And there's a new rule. It's... Uh, a $10 minimum donation to get into the contest. You can donate whatever you want if you want to. And I appreciate your thumbs up and your comments are, are a great donation anyway if you can't afford to help me out. I understand completely. I've been there. I'm still doing that. <laughs> and uh, so look for the exhibition video. Ask about links to playlists. I love you guys. I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio. I'm going to fix my edges and drip some of the end puddles down. It's a little different. Um, I like it almost as much as the first one, maybe a little more. And I will see you guys eventually. Watch some more videos. Maybe some binge watching. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Oh, maybe I can zoom in. Maybe I shouldn't bother. There we go. Perfect. Alright, see you soon. Bye now.